across to the Truck Camper Adventure Rally and we are heading down the road to registration. Greetings from the Truck Camper Adventure Rally in Quartzsite, Arizona. We've been here for a couple days. We haven't done much recording. We've been mostly hanging out with our friends. For us, this was a great opportunity to meet in person some of our subscribers and friends that we know from Instagram, YouTube. We've been talking to them off and on and it was just so nice to meet them in person. So it's been really fun. Uh, we didn't do a lot of recording and we have virtually no cell service here. It works occasionally at night for a couple hours, but during the day it's uh, pretty unusable. Some of the events that were going on here are like off-road basics and how to do tire repair and some of those things. There's everything here. There's huge campers, little campers. It's kind of a cool variety and we've been able to see a lot of different things and talk to a lot of different people. We also somehow lined up with all of our serious friends by pure accident uh, we were supposed to meet our friends that we've been talking to for a while and then chasing harley yeah and they have their serious 800 and then we had the other people lining up right next to us so we formed this serious alley which was hilarious <laughs> we got here pretty early and uh, josh and amy from chasing harley they texted us and said hey we're, we're parked in the back side so we pulled up next to them and then over the next like three hours, I don't know what, five or six more series has showed up and parked next to us. It's been fun. It's been really exciting to talk to all these different people that live the same life or a similar life. Kind of the, the struggles of, of life on the road and tight spaces. And we've gotten some great ideas on organization. We've gotten to share some of our office setup, and everyone seems to have their own system and style of doing stuff. So it's a great diversity of ideas. It's been enlightening yeah it's always exciting to see what the other people have and you can compare you can see how you can you can improve your own stuff and it's been really nice yeah the other thing is the last couple of days the sun was pretty intense and uh, I needed a break from it so we were kind of hanging out in the shade a little bit the event overall has been very relaxed it's small um, I have some drone shots we're gonna throw up the the scenery around here is breathtaking we're in a valley kind of a valley with mountains surrounding us the sunsets are incredible the sunrises are incredible it's beautiful out here it really is so we're gonna probably stay another week or so and uh, explore the area quartzite is interesting but it has this like uh, quirky charm yeah. it's, it has everything you would possibly need for an RV and everyone here seems to be full-time or van lifers or just everyone lives on the road basically and looks like the 99 percent of the population are full-timers here it's a small town with a lot well, of rvs yes like thousands we have never experienced that before it looks bizarre but it's actually super cool you have the, these sections of town that are just fully dedicated rv community Morning. Morning. Port site has a lot of other benefits. Number one is, I mean, look at all the real estate here and how flat it is. Yeah, there's there's a couple floating around. This is like a zebra tree. I don't know what it's called. It's pretty though. So it's Saturday, almost five o'clock, and we entered a raffle. They have a bunch of prizes that are giving away. It's extremely windy today, so we're not gonna be able to record much outside, but we're heading over there now to see what we won, if anything. 
probably nothing. Probably nothing, but... And just to hang out with everyone, so we'll <coughs> show you what that's all about. Yeah, there were five prizes and not a ton of people entered, so we have pretty good chances. That giveaway lasted about 45 minutes and they gave away a lot of products. I recorded it, but it's so windy. I, I only have a few shots of it, but we did win some stuff. Both of us. Usually none of us wins, but this time Scott won something and then I won something. We bought two tickets and we didn't win any of the big prizes, but towards the end they drew both of our, our tickets, which was amazing. So Scott won. It's like a Froley. No, that's the right way up. Froley cup holders, which I didn't know Froley makes, I guess, anything besides the, the mattress system that we have. Yeah. And then bumper sticker. It was like a consolation prize, but hey, it's a prize. We yeah, won. Yeah, it doesn't matter. So yeah, the whole thing lasted for about 45 minutes. It was super windy and super cold. And to be honest, I was ready to go back to our camper and warm up. But I'm so happy that we didn't. We stayed the whole time and we won stuff. We won stuff. So yeah, it's like 20 mile an hour winds and dusty and it's getting pretty cold out now. Yeah. So, but it was worth staying, it was fun and really, really amazed at how many prizes they had. Yeah. It's a beautiful place and there's there's plenty to do around here. Of course, we've been doing just the, the rally. There's not as much going on as we thought. This was our first time coming to yeah. this rally. And actually this is only the second year of this <laughs> rally. We kind of expected to see a lot of like sponsor tents and things like that, but this is much smaller than that. It's it's more like a community thing. You just yeah. you hang out with similar minded people and that's what we were doing at least. Mellow Mike with Truck Camper Adventure, he put all this together, I think probably with his wife, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a huge project, it's a lot of work, but it's nice and relaxed. Um, there's plenty of space for everyone, we're not all jammed together. The, the biggest piece for us with this is the social aspect. It's been really cool to get together with all these truck campers because there's not a lot on the road and we've really enjoyed meeting all the people that we've met and we've made some new friends and we've had yeah we've had drinks and coffee and it's been a, a really so fun time fun. definitely so much fun. on the last day of the rally jared's son from stable camper was nice enough to give us an interview and discuss some of his products as well as his brand new flatbed system what he has installed in his truck right now is a first build but these flatbed systems will be available soon if you have any interest in a flatbed for your truck and camper you can contact them through their website, stablecamper.com. I'll be releasing the full video of this interview in the coming weeks, so make sure you're subscribed and you click the little bell icon so you don't miss it. Also on the last day, we bumped into Marcus Namilla. He is the president of Kingstar Campers. He was nice enough to give us a tour of his really innovative truck camper. During the open house on the last day, many of our friends were telling us that we really had to go check out this guy's camper. So we made our way over there and we asked him to give us a quick tour of it. He gave us a very thorough walkthrough and explanation of all of the features of the camper. You can learn more about their products at kingstar.net. And the full video of that will be out in the coming weeks. So stay tuned for that as well. So this was our very first rally and we absolutely loved it. We're going to be doing more rallies in the future. And just a question for you guys, has anyone done any rallies before and what was your experience? Please let us know down in the comments. We're going to leave links to everything that we discussed in this video down in the description. And if you guys like this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really, really helps us. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Make me